Hi, Vadim's here. If you run into this common issue, I'll walk you through exactly how to solve it, fast and frustration-free. Most professionals eventually face the challenge of Chrome running slower than it should. Chrome tabs take forever to load, videos run very slow, and simple searches lag like you're on the dial-up. Luckily, there are just a few fast and easy fixes, and all of them inside Chrome's own settings. Let's start by clearing out digital junk. Go to the three-dot menu on the top right corner of Chrome. Go to Settings and then select Privacy and Security on the left sidebar. Now click Delete Browsing Data. Make sure you're in the Basics tab and in the Time Range select All Time. Make sure all browsing history, cookie and other site data and cached images and files are selected and click Delete Data. Why this is important? The stored files help pages load faster, but when they build up too much, they slow everything down. Next, let's disable some extensions you're not using. In that same three-dot menu, go to Extensions under the More Tools. And then here, select Manage Extensions. You have two choices here. You can toggle off anything you don't use regularly, or you remove or uninstall it completely. To toggle it, you use the toggle, on and off. And to remove, you click the Remove button. Why do you want to do this? Extensions are mini programs running in the background. Even inactive ones can quietly use up memory. Deleting an extension is better because it completely removes its files and background activity, freeing up more memory and improving Chrome's speed more than just turning it off. I'm going to keep Grammarly, LastPass and Dark Reader. But I'm going to delete Loom, it's a screen recorder, but it can slow page down if enabled. I'm also going to remove Google Translate. It's useful because it runs automatically on foreign language pages, but it may delay page rendering if unnecessary. I'm also going to delete Google Docs offline. This extension is worth keeping only if you work without internet, since it lets you edit files offline with minimum impact on performance. But most of the time I'm online, so I'm just gonna go ahead and delete it. Now, let's look at the continue running background app setting. Let's go to settings, scroll to the bottom and click system in the left sidebar. Here the correspondent setting is on the top, continue running background apps when Google Chrome is closed. I am going to turn it off. Why? This prevents Chrome from using memory and battery in the background when you're not actively using it, which helps your system run faster and cooler. Now let's do the same for Use Graphics Acceleration When Available setting. After you turn it off, you need to relaunch the browser, and you can do it by clicking the Relaunch button. Why this is important? The setting uses your computer's graphic card to speed things up, but on some systems it can actually cause lag, freezing, or strange display issues. I also recommend you turn off Show System Notifications about Chrome features and tips. Why? It doesn't affect performance much, but turning it off reduces distraction so you can focus on your work without pop-up interruptions. Now let's go to Performance tab and switch on Memory Saver. This helps you unload tabs you haven't used in a while. If you are on a laptop, make sure to turn on Energy Saver. Why this is important? These tools reduce how much power and memory Chrome uses, especially helpful if you always have a dozen tabs open. Now let's restart Chrome cleanly. Instead of closing and reopening tabs manually, type chrome colon slash slash restart in the address bar and press enter. Why are we doing it this way? This refreshes Chrome completely but restores your tabs. No need to remember what you had open. Do you feel like it's still slow? Let's reset Chrome settings. In settings, go to reset settings on the left sidebar. Click Restore Settings to the original default and click Reset Settings. Why this is helpful? If a hidden tweak, extension or misconfiguration is an issue, this gives you a clean slate without uninstalling Chrome. If you found this content helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to Online Training for Everyone. Have a great day!